Hello, I'm Mrs Davison and I'm the Head of Maths at Spalding Grammar School. I'm now going to talk to you about A-level maths, further maths and level three core maths. Well, I always found maths to be one of the subjects I was naturally very good at, but it wasn't until I hit A-level that I really started to enjoy the subject. It made me think about what I was doing. I enjoyed the content, the new topics that we were learning, but also the biggest part of it for me was the enjoyment that I got from having a problem, wrestling with that problem, and then being able to come to a solution at the end of it. And I just got such a buzz from solving problems. Maths is one of those subjects that was what we call a facilitating subject. And the Russell Group, which is like the Ivy League of Universities in the, in the UK, um, see it as one of the most important subjects and the most useful subjects that you can actually study prior, going, prior to going on to one of their courses. It develops these key skills that are incredibly useful to employers and universities. It develops the skills of logical reasoning, creative problem solving, analytical uh, and research skills that are needed in subjects beyond the sciences and maths. It's incredibly useful in subjects such as psychology, sociology, geography, with all the statistical work that you have to do. And in many subjects, the Russell Group consider it absolutely essential for subjects such as physics, chemistry, economics, and engineering. This school has one of the most experienced math departments in the area. We have been incredibly successful with our results over the past few years, and it's led to an increasing number of students taking maths and further maths at the school. What this means is that we are able to give you dedicated teachers who know their subject incredibly well. You have some of the best resources that have been specifically chosen to support you in your studies, both online and also physically in textbook form. One of the biggest advantages to study studying further maths here is that we have a large enough cohort to run a separate further maths class. What this means is, unlike many schools where you have to study maths and further maths at the same time, we are able to complete A-level maths in year 12 and then move on to A-level further maths in year 13, which is the preferred way of teaching and studying this unit. The career possibilities for students studying maths are endless. It's one of the most employable areas to study. And there are very few people who go on to study mathematics at university to a high level that don't end up with a very secure and very generous job at the end of it. Employers really like people who have studied maths for the key skills that they've developed, things that no other subject can lead you to develop in this way. And even if you go on to things that are not necessarily university courses, if you go on to do different types of studies such as apprenticeships, these key skills are also incredibly useful. The career possibilities for studying maths are endless. It is one of the most useful and employable subjects that you can study at A level. Many courses require this subject, but also if you're going on to study for an apprenticeship with training or even going straight into the workforce, the key skills that you're developing, unlike any other skills from any other subject, are hugely applicable to a wide level of careers. Students go on to careers in medicine, um, IT, game design, engineering, finance, business, economics. The list is endless. There really is nothing that a student doing maths cannot set their mind to. For students who really enjoy the mathematical studies and want to take this to a higher level and study even more topics and find out more about the subject, we also offer further maths as an additional A-level on top of A-level maths. I'm often asked why do I need to study further maths or why should I study further maths if I'm already studying A-level? Um, and my answer to that would be that it is another one of those facilitating subjects that the Russell Groups and other universities in the UK and abroad rate incredibly highly. It takes a huge amount of skill and perseverance and resilience to develop your skills to the level that is required for further maths. It is hugely enjoyable and interesting and you go on to study extra topic areas and things that you wouldn't normally cover until you'd reached university level. In 2016-2017, the government analysed the data of the average pay of students who had studied different A-level subjects. Six years on from their studies, it was found that the top earner, the average earnings for a student who studies further maths, are higher than any other subject studied. For students who aren't taking A-level maths but want to continue their mathematical studies to further support the other subjects that they're doing, the maths department here at Spalding Grammar also offer Level 3 Core Maths. 
Studying core maths allows you to look at some of the areas of maths that are particularly applicable to other A-level subjects, such as geography, psychology and sciences, business, economics, anything where financial capability, statistical analysis will be of benefit. Studying core maths also allows you to cover the fundamentals of pure topics that will be incredibly useful to students going on with other subjects to a higher level at university.